Hello everybody, this is Andrew Roboto 2021 here, and welcome to Five Nights at Tubby Land Throwback Edition, where this is a throwback slash remastered version of the original, both the original and the Five Nights at Tubby Land and the revamp that was made by release made by Critiolicious, and it was released back in 2015, as well as the second and third Five Nights at Tubby Land game. And this game is made by Jeb Yoshi, the, who's the creator of Five Nights at Yoshi's, as well as Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese's Revive, and a couple other FNAF fan games. And, um, and plus, I figured I'd play this game, because, I mean, it's been a while since I last played Five Nights, like, Five Nights at Tubby Land game. Because I have played Five Nights at Tubby Land games in the past, but it's been a while. Another Five Nights at Tubby Land game I played is, um... Which, well, two others I played, um, Tubby Land Return Rebooted, and then, um, and then Tubby Land Act 1 Rebuilt. So, yeah, so it's definitely been a while since I last did a Tubby Land fan game. And I figure why not play it, because I do like, I do like throwbacks to the classic, to the classic and original FNAF fan games. So why not? So anyways, without further ado... We will start a new game. Let's see what has died before us. Double click. Okay. Help wanted. The once abandoned family restaurant is making plans to reopen on October 28th. Tubby Land Entertainment is in need of an experienced night guard to watch over the tubby. The building and the old tubby bots ensure safety of the facility from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Anyone interested in the job will receive helpful advice through an employee over the phone each shift. Tubby Land Incorporated is not responsible for a cause of injury. Death, disembarkment, blah, blah, blah. Five, $540 a week. Call 188-TUB-TUBBYLAND if you're interested. All right. And I actually got to read the whole paper this time because in the original game, I didn't get to read the whole newspaper. One of the things I'm noticing that's similar to the original is, that is um, the, well, actually, the revamp is the main menu theme. The original version, it's different. Okay, we get a phone call. And then the office is very similar to the original game. Oh, hey, you arrived safe and sound. Good to hear. Oh, the cameras and the characters are the same too, actually. It's very similar. Congrats. Thank you. Staff here often call me employee number three, but you can call me Craig. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you too, Craig. I assume you read all the terms and conditions and all that, right? Nah, to be honest, I don't read all the long paragraphs either. Let's just assume. Can I hug the nose? This place was left to rot for a few years, and as you probably already know, we've been working on renovating it. It should be safe and ready to open in a few weeks, so it's important for you to keep it. <laughs> I just honk Tiki Winky's nose. I mean his stomach, sorry. His stomach actually. It was actually his stomach. Um also, before you came along, we had another guard here that quit, but he did leave plenty of useful information, so now, Lucky me. Notes, the most important thing you need to keep an eye on, more so than the burglars, are the animatronics. These rights, to an extent. Uh, the thing with them is, their facial recognition systems never acted properly during the night, and since they've been deactivated for so long, it's probably made it impossible for them to detect you as a human. So, let's say they theoretically find a way inside your office. They'll most likely Exactly. It sounds stupid, I know, but it's just the way they're programmed. The Obviously. Is, though, it's not exactly funny because if they detect you as such, they'll most likely try to stuff you inside the tummy toaster. Obviously. Now, again, it is only a theory. A ridiculous sounding theory, but a theory nonetheless. And now, oh, it's going to happen, trust me. Now, 
Now, Poe is blind and she can't detect her face, but she's been acting kind of twitchy recently and she can sense you if you move around too much. So if Poe should enter your office, just flip down your cameras and don't move. Okay. Eventually she'll walk away as if you're invisible. Now, about Lala, you might have noticed that she doesn't have a head, but her No kidding she doesn't have a head. Just like in the original Tommy Wayne games. Like you try to get to your office to the left wing. So if you see her in camera alpha, I close that door right away. You might only have a few seconds exactly. to react, though. Uh, oh, right, the doors. Uh, unfortunately, due to budget cuts, you can't actually have a closing door on the right side. But it shouldn't be too big of a problem if you follow the guard advice. Uh, oh, that also extends to the power supply. We only have a limited amount of power for the night, so... The more stuff you keep turned on, the more the consumption will likely overload. So, don't let that happen. Uh, well, that should be it. So, good luck, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, good so, so Poe has a different mechanic in this game than in the original. In the original Final Fantasy Tabby Lane game, as well as the reboot, we had to, um, wind the music box up for Poe. And then... But in this game, Poe will move, and if we see her in the office, we have to put down the camera and stay completely still. Because Poe is blind. And I wonder when we're going to be dealing with um, Tinky Winky and Dipsy. And I wonder if they'll have the same mechanic. Because Walla has the same mechanic as in the original the reboot, where we have to close the door if we see her... On Cam Alpha, which is the nearest to my office. And then also in the original Ow. game. Oh, hang on. Oh, uh, did somebody just move? Oh, Poe's moving. Okay. Because in the original game, Poe only moved if you didn't wind up the music box. So, yeah. That's what's going on. So Poe's starting to move. Okay, Lala's moving. Okay, I saw her leave. And I'm keeping an eye out for Poe. I'll check my office just to be sure, because I must pose on another camera, which I will look for her. Oh, she does. Okay, so she was on cam 3A. Let me see. Where did Poe... Poe? Hang on. Okay, so Poe... Let me see what camera she's on now. I'm going to look for her. Oh, Lala's here. Got to close the door. Oh, there's a tubby... There's a tubby bot warning sign on the door. Nice. Oh, there's Poe. Okay. So I gotta stay still. Since she's here. What? Okay. So Poe apparently will bang on the door if it's closed. When you're dealing with Lala. That's so weird. I thought Poe would just leave the way he came from. That's so weird. I didn't think she would bang on the door. That is so weird. Oh my god. Okay, I'm keeping an eye out for Poe. I just dealt with Lala and then Poe. Okay, so Poe will run through the, the door if it's open after you stay still. But if it's closed, she will bang on it until you open it. Okay, Poe went back. Why are the lights flickering?
Does it, well, okay, why are the lights flickering in the office? Is that a concern? Does that... Ah! Lala! Okay. Why is the ceiling light flickering? What do I do? Oh. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? Do I have to reboot a system or something? What's going on? Or did I like overheat the system? What's going on? Why is my office dark? I didn't even use all the power. That has got to be a bug. Okay. What? What is happening? I'm closing the door just to be on the safe side because I don't want to risk a jump scare from Wawa. I'll open it if Poe is going to bang on it. But, okay, the phone guy didn't tell me what to do when the white flickers and goes off. Like, what the heck am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Did I overload the system or something? Like, I didn't even... Okay, there we go. Can someone please tell me in the comments what happens when the light goes out in the office? This is the first time I've ever had to deal with it in the FNAF fan game. Is that a bug or something, or is it supposed to happen? Okay, next night, we'll take on night two. And hopefully that episode will not happen again. Like, like, why did that happen? I hope I get an explanation from the phone guy or something for night two, because this is completely unexpected. Hey there, how's it going? Your first ship was probably the easiest thing ever. Everything looked to be in order when we came here this morning, so... Nice job. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Tonight, I'll go over what the guard had to say about the other two tubby bots. The first of these is Tinky Winky. He's the purple one that was lying on the ground next to Poe on camera 2A. You might think he'll stay there due to his lack of legs, but no. It is possible for him to move around the building, so if you want to stop him, you just have to keep watching the camera he's on. The guard apparently found out that Tinky Winky's hearing is a bit more sensitive than the others, and the sound of a camera turning on is a bother to him. Uh, poor guy. So, uh, the company then added a system that will modify the sound of a camera turning on to be greatly amplified if it detects him in the room. So, that's a little less work on your part, isn't it? <laughs> so, about the green tubby bot, Dipsy, the one standing next to Lala on camera 5. Uh, well... According to the guard, Dipsy didn't actually move. So, one less thing to worry about, right? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't get your hopes up. The company's seen this as an issue, so the staff have been working on trying to get Dipsy back up and running again. They happen to make a good bit of progress today, so I wouldn't be surprised if he was back up and running tomorrow. If he does get back up and running, I will try to gather as much information on him as I can. But for now, that should be it. So, keep up the good work, man. Okay, so Tinky Winky, same mechanic as the original game. You just have to constantly watch him on the camera because Tinky Winky has sensitive hearing and the, the sound of the camera will bother him and it will, and it will keep him at bay. Every now and then I got to put the camera down because if the usage bar gets full, it means it's overloaded. And I don't know what to do about the light. Like, 
What am I supposed to do about the white? Is it supposed to flicker or something? Tell me in the comments, please. Let me know. Because this is completely unexpected. Like, am I supposed to re reboot a system or something? Like, what am I supposed to do about that light? Like, that's unexpected. Okay, pose moving. Tinky Winky still at bay, of course. Oh, I hear Poe coming. Yeah! Okay, I did not see Poe coming. I heard him coming, but I didn't think I would see him coming. I didn't see him. I thought he wasn't there. Oh, here's a tip we get. Poe attacked you because you failed to lift down the camera and stay still. Okay. So when we hear breathing, when we hear walking and breathing, we have to put down the camera for Poe. I mean, I thought, I, I thought Poe left or something, but I guess I gotta wait for him to stop breathing or something or walking. Okay. I always find it interesting how Tinky Winky just crawls because he doesn't have legs. Walla doesn't have a head. Okay, post comments, so I gotta put the camera down. That's what that means. Did you leave? I thought Pole left. Cause Tinky Winky I saw just mo I heard Tinky What How am I supposed to know when Pole leaves? Okay, how am I supposed to know when Poe leaves? Do I just listen for sound cues or something? Like, how am I supposed to know when Poe leaves? Because I didn't see her come in the office at all. So I guess we just gotta pay attention to her. Okay, so both Tinky Winky and Poe move. They're in the party hall. I gotta make sure to keep an eye on Tinky Winky, because he will move.
Okay, so when Tinky Winky moves, he pl it plays like... Oh, God, I didn't see Paul that time. God damn it. Okay. I really got to pay attention to Paul. Okay, so when Paul moves, I'm going to constantly put down the camera so that I can check for her, then put it back up to deal with Tinky Winky and Walla. The good thing is when Tinky Winky moves, the camera will play a sound when he moves to cam 3A. Okay. I figured out how to deal with Poe, though. For Poe, we just gotta constantly put the camera down. I'm gonna constantly put the camera down so I can check for her when she's nearby. Okay, who's making that breathing sound? I thought that was Poe, but it wasn't. I think it's Lala or somebody. Get okay, Poe moved, so... Okay, so Tinky Winky moved, so since he moved, the camera sound will play. Okay, so I'm going to check for Poe while checking for Tinky Winky and Lol. Okay, strategy is in effect. There she is. Okay, now we stay still. Alright, it worked. Perfect. Okay, Poe is leaving, so I don't have to worry about closing the door on her when she's in the, the, the left blind spot. It's only Wawa I gotta deal with there. Okay, so it plays a radio sound and a camera sound when Tinky Winky moves. Okay, Lala. Close the door, check for Tinky Winky and Poe. Gotta constantly flip it down for Poe because she left, so that means she's nearby. There she is. This time she's here. Alright. Is Lala at the left door? No, Poe's there, but she's leaving. Tinky Winky, I saw just move, so I gotta keep an eye, make sure to keep an eye on him. Because Tinky Winky cannot be stopped in the office. Lala, gotta close the left door, check on Tinky Winky. Okay, Lala left. Gotta check on Tinky Winky and then Paul.
stairs pole, okay, and Tinky Winky's moving, so... I heard Tinky Winky move. Voila, and I'm gonna go do a Tinky Winky right now. And we beat Night 2. There we go. Little tricky because of Poe, but we figured it out, so that's a good thing. Like that. Like that grandfather clock sound. And the confetti. Okay, so. Alright, we will take on Night 3 in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button. Also, comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you have given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. Be sure to follow me on TikTok and hit the bell to receive all notifications on there as well. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.